discussing this with my husband and team member, and you know, he pointed out that the flooring upstairs, this is planking. This is the planking that they used. This house, I got a check on it, probably built in the early 1900s. And the uh, when they built it, they put chipboard on top of the planking and then they put vinyl tile, you know, vinyl tiles. And then they put, eventually carpet got laid on top of that. So it looks like you have a good surface if you wanted to put in hardwood flooring, but uh, it's not, it, it, it's not there. It's not there. You take up that carpet upstairs and you're not going to find hardwood floors. So our basement has, it's, it's laid up stone, but it's all been, it's got concrete. You got a hot water heater here. You got the oil tank is inside, which means you can just use fuel oil in it. You don't have to get, you don't have to put in kerosene. If this tank had been outside, as you probably know, you'd have to put kerosene in it to keep it from gelling. And here we have our hot, our, um, hot air furnace, which is oil fired for heating and when we look at it, I'm looking to see if there's any indication of age on this. Don't see, but but it looks like it's in pretty nice shape. It's, it's definitely been maintained by Gilbert. by Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert over here. Oh, they've, they've got all. They have your uh, the the paperwork. Is right here, Gilbert Fuel Oil Company. <laughs> That's the fuel oil company that put it in. You've got some works workspace, and over here in the corner, you can see they have a the electric panel. It's, it's absolutely been updated over the years. This is done by CJ Electric. And it was put in on uh, July 29th, 1999. And this is a 200 amp panel. You can see where the cable comes in. There's the water lines. So actually, it's a, it's a really decent basement. Okay. That would be your septic going outside, out in the backyard.